Hello, this is John from tcmathacademy.com. In this video, we're going to go ahead and solve this percent algebra problem. So this is going to be a lot of fun. Do not feel shy about using a calculator, but the question is, what is x? But uh, really, the question is 70% of 2x plus 1 is 90. We want to solve for this variable right here, x. So if you think you can figure this problem out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'm actually going to show you the correct answer in just one second. Also, if you need math help with the course you're taking, test prep or homeschooling, check out my math help program again at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link in the description below. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the answer here. Now, if you're not quite ready to see the answer, we'll pause the video and work on this for a little bit, but let's go ahead and take a look at it right now. So X would be approximately 63.78. That is the solution. And if you got this right, that tells me two things. One, it tells me you have a pretty decent understanding of percent and algebra. So that's pretty awesome. And speaking of percent, let's go ahead and give yourself a nice little happy face, an A plus and a 100 percent and a few stars so you can tell your friends and family that you're pretty awesome uh, uh, in solving percent problems, especially when we need algebra. So, you know, when it comes to percent, I think a lot of people um, don't really fully understand how to solve all percent prompts. You know, you could do the kind of basic percent uh, problems like what is 5% of 20? And of course, you know, if you know how to do that, that's excellent. But there's all different types of uh, uh, flavors and variety of percent problems. And percent problems can get pretty interesting, like the one we're doing right now. So let's go ahead and get into the solution. So 70% of 2x plus 1 is 90. Well, in order to do this problem, let's take a look at a more basic version of a percent problem. And we'll get back to our actual problem here, but let's take a look at this problem. What if we have 70% of 120? And let's say that was our problem. Let's make sure you know how to do this problem first, because if you can't do this, well, then you're gonna struggle with our original problem. So how do you find the percent of a number? Well, what we need to do is convert or write that percent as a decimal. And how do you write a percent as a decimal? Well, basically, you move the decimal point over two places to the left, which is the same thing as dividing by 100. Now, if you're already a little bit shaky on percent, uh, this video might be a little bit, you know, maybe, uh, I don't want to say too challenging, because you could probably still figure out the solution. But if you need help with percent, I have a ton of videos on my YouTube channel on percent. Also, I teach this in um, multiple courses at my Math Help program, uh, namely my Math Foundations pre-algebra and algebra uh, courses. So anyways, you can check those out if you like. But anyways, when we want to convert um, a percent to a decimal, we need to move that decimal point over two places to the left, which again is the same thing as divided by 100. So 70% is the same thing as 0 0.0. And then all we need to do is simply multiply that decimal by the number that we're trying to find the percent of. So 0 0.70 times 120 is 84. But let's go ahead and just kind of translate what we just did here, okay? 70% of 120 is 84. This is what this is saying right here. 70% of 120 is, and notice this is here, is the same thing as that equal sign. So 70% of 120 is 84. So if you understand um, how we translate a verbal sentence into a mathematical sentence, then you're going to be able to do this problem or at least set this up. So let's go ahead and get going to our next step here. All right, so 70% of 2x plus 1 is 90. So just like the last problem, what we want to do is convert or uh, write our uh, percent as a decimal. So that's going to be 0 0.70. So 70% of what? Well, in our last problem, it was 120, but we're not finding... Uh, 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 percent of a number right now, we're finding the percent of this expression. So that's going to be 0 0.70 times whatever this number is. We don't know what that number is, but it's expressed as the value 2x plus 1. So again, 
in algebra, when you have variables involved, this is this right here just represents a number. So in your mind's eye, just say, oh, well, this is some number. I'm going to figure out what this number is here in a second. But 70% of this number here is equal to 90. All right, so that's basically how you want to set this problem up. Now, there's probably a couple different other ways you can do this problem. And if you took a different path, as long as you got this thing right, that's perfectly fine. But at this stage, what we have is a lovely algebraic equation. So now it's up to your algebra skills, if you have them, to solve this equation. Let's go ahead and do this right now. So the first thing we need to do is to use the distributive property. We're going to take that 0 0.70, multiply it by that 2 or 2x, we're going to get 1.4x, and then 0 0.70 times that 1, we get 0 0.70 is equal to 90. Again, in algebra, when you have a value outside of a parentheses where there's a sum or difference, you need to apply the distributive property, okay? So basically, we're going to multiply in and use a calculator to help you out. So this is what we have, but we're not done, obviously. So let's go ahead and continue the problem. So 1.4x plus 0 0.70 is equal to 90. What do we need to do? Well, we need to get all the numbers on the right-hand side of the equation. So we're going to subtract away 0 0.70 from both, both sides of the equation, just like this. And then when we add down in a column manner, we get 1.4x plus nothing is 1.4x. A positive 0 0.70 minus a uh, 0 0.70 is 0, so we don't need to write that. And then 90 minus 0 0.70 is 89.3. Now, again, if you are, you know, a little bit shaky on solving basic equations and things like that, well, then you need to brush up on that as well. So uh, I'm going to really kind of, uh, for those of you that are kind of like a little bit rusty on this as well, I'm going to suggest checking out my pre-algebra course because that's you're going to learn fractions, decimals, basic equations, percent, all that kind of good stuff. But we're not done yet. So 1.4x is equal to 89.3. So to solve for x, what do we need to do? Well, we need to divide both sides of the equation by 1.4. So x will be equal to 89.3 divided by 1.4. Again, feel free to use your calculator. No uh, need to torture yourself by doing hand arithmetic here. So you're going to get a decimal. It's a pretty long decimal, but we'll go ahead and just approximate it to 63.78. So that is our answer, but let's just double check this, okay? Let's just say, you know what? I'm not sure this is right. How could we check this? Well, what we could do is go back to our original problem, and if we're saying that x is equal to 63.78, let's go to plug in that value right here and get this number, and then we'll take 70% of this number and see if that's pretty close to 90. So 2 times uh, x, or in this case it's 63.78, plus 1 is going to be this number. So you can see here, I did all the math. So 2 times 63.78 gives me 127.56 plus 1. So that number, that mystery number, is, is 128.56. So let's take 70% of 128.56. So that'll be 0 0.70 times 128. 0.56, and guess what we get? We get approximately 89.99, and that is pretty close to 90, which is what the question was asking for right here. So anytime you have enough, um, uh, anytime you're taking a test, quiz, exam, anything like that, and you have enough time, never turn in your exams early. Always check uh, most math problems, you can double check your work, okay? Matter of fact, I can't think of any exceptions where you can. So, you know, never turn in your test or you can, you know, take that extra time to check your answers, okay? That's an important part of understanding mathematics is, you know, verifying your results. But when it comes to percent, boy, I tell you what, there's probably no more practical math skill that you really want to, uh, really want to understand uh, other than percent. I mean, like percent is everywhere. Just think about, you, you know, we see this nonstop every day. You go to the store, you see this symbol, you know, you open up uh, your mail, you're looking at your credit card bills, you're talking about inflation, mortgage rates, on and on and on. So the more uh, you know about percent, the better off you're going to be. Okay, so if this video helped you out in some small way, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.